Hello gamers, Softkitty99 on the battle for Azeroth Beta. I'm on the uh, Horde side and I'm in the Great Seal, which is the Horde base for Battle for Azeroth. And as I've just logged into the game, this quest has popped up. The War Chief awaits. So Ket, there are important matters I would like to discuss with you, but discretion is of the utmost importance. Meet me in my chambers in the Undercity, where I can assure our privacy has not been compromised. Ensure that you are not followed. Orgrimmar has become riddled with SI-7 spies. It would seem that King Anduin and Matthias Shaw are desperate to know what our next move is. How admirable. Report to War Chief Sylvanas Windrunner in the Undercity. Let's go and find out what she has for us to do, shall we? I've arrived at the Undercity and I'm going in to see what Sylvanas wishes for us to do. We are the Forsaken. Glad we you could make it so quickly. Stands in our way. The War Chief commands. Silithus. That has been the name of the game, or rather, that is what I wanted the Alliance to believe. Make no mistake, Azerite is just as powerful as it is rumoured to be, but I have bigger plans in mind. High Overlord Sarfang is leading an army towards Silithus. By now he should be in the Northern Barrens. I want you to intercept him and notify him that the preparations are complete. Preparations for what, you ask? Why, we are going to capture the World Tree. Find Sarfang in the Northern Barrens. I have no time for games. War Chief, may I ask why we want to capture Teldrassil? Time is not a luxury we possess, but I respect your desire to know more. Sylvanas points to Silithus on the map. This has forever altered the balance of power in Azeroth. Deposits of Azerite are being located across the world, Selket. Though we do not yet understand its full potential, it is clear that this substance has vast destructive capabilities. What will war look like in twenty years? In a hundred? How can the Horde hope to defend its borders if the Alliance control the flow of Azerite? It is uncertain, War Chief. What is certain is that the Alliance will use Darnassus as a safe harbour for funnelling Azerite into the Eastern Kingdoms. Anduin Rin will build powerful new weapons, and sooner or later he will turn them up on our homelands. First he will strike at the Undercity and Silvermoon, then his gaze will fall upon Kalimdor. For the sake of the Horde's future, we must be the first to act. By occupying Darnassus, we will control the flow of Azerite and ensure it cannot be used against us. The Alliance will dare not attack its own city for fear of harming civilians. With a single stroke, we will guarantee generations of peace. The Night Elves will fight at every step. The Calderai will defy our occupation, unless we break their spirits. We must inflict a blow that will show them what is at stake. They need to lose something, someone, in whom they have absolute trust and faith. A symbol of hope. The Dark Lady narrows her eyes. Malfurion Storm Rage must die. Oh no! See, Sylvanas has been one of my absolute favourite lore characters ever, and they're making her into a bad woman. <gasps> Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I'm very sad now. Ah, oh, poor Sylvanas. That makes me sad. I don't want her to be a bad girl. I want her to be a good girl. Oh. Oh well, let's go find Sarfang. Hello, Sarfang. I have been awaiting your arrival. I have halted our march until I receive word that we were ready to divert. What comes next will be a coordinated, synchronised attack on key outposts in Ashenvale. 
If we act quickly, we will destroy the Calderai's defences and clear a path all the way to Darkshore. Stormwind will surely send reinforcements to stop us. We have to conquer Teldrassil before they arrive. I will divert the troops, meet with our operative Lorash outside Astronar for further instructions. Soldiers of the Horde, ready your blades. Today, we march on the Kaldorai. Off we go to Ashengal. Hello, Lorash. I do so enjoy my job. So, Fang says it's time. Excellent. Everybody has a price. Hundreds of rogues have already attacked Calderai outposts in Ashenvale. On my signal, they will begin the next phase of this war, sowing chaos. My colleague died not far from here, so I could use your help. If we stay out of sight, the town won't even know it's under attack before we have all of its guards down. I have a poison that will kill them quickly and silently. If you signal to me which targets are safe to attack without being noticed, I will put them down. What do you say? Work with Lorash to disarm Astronar. Let's teach these seven. first. Let me signal the others to begin their assault. This fire burns with purple smoke. They should see it rise above the trees soon. After you, champion, you mark the safe targets. I'll bring them down. Wait, what? What, so am I supposed to fly in? No, can't fly in. Ah, oh, right, now he's going to put us in stealth. Oh, that makes much more sense then. That makes a lot more sense. Seems a little underhanded though, doing this. Yeah, it does seem rather underhanded to do this. That's a girl following her, so is it safe to take that one out or not? No, oh, they don't. They turn around. That's weird. She turned around at a very strange time. That did seem very strange how she turned around there, don't you think? Guards. I think if I get this one, that priestess will see it. I see that priestess over there. She should have seen that, shouldn't she? Oh well, okay. That's nice. That means it's a little bit easier for getting peeps. So is that... There's, there's loads of people right next to her. Let's see what happens. 
Oh, nobody noticed. Nobody noticed. Are there no guards around the backs? Oh, interesting. With all this water, wouldn't you have thought you'd need a guard on there, outside? Okay. Let me see, how many more do we need? We need four more, so we can, maybe we can, um, oh yeah, how about you? Am I going too fast? He seems to not be keeping up with me. I need three more. One there. That one there. That should do it. How does it feel to single handedly sack an entire city? Um, feels rather underhanded and duplicitous, actually. I want Sylvanas to be a good girl. Can we take all this back, please, and be nice instead? War abounds with opportunity. We did it. Hopefully the other outposts fared as well as we did. Ooh, I can I can see why Saifang's rather upset with her now. This is not good. Oh, Sylvanas, I don't like what you're doing. Not happy about this. Blizzard, why are you doing this? No! A timely arrival. My end of the bargain is done, troll. I'm going to check on the other outpost to make sure none of my brothers and sisters are in trouble. Meet with the war chief and inform her that Astronar has been secured. If everything has gone according to plan, she should be well on her way. Oh, and try not to hog all the glory, yeah? Laura smirks at you. Oh, he seems really happy with what's going on. Mm. Greet war chief Sylvanas Windrunner in Astronar. Oh gosh, have we actually taken Astronar off? Oh, we've taken Astronar off. <gasps> Safang. What's she doing, Sylvang? What joy is there in this curse? That was a perfectly executed strike, Salkat. Um, Sylvanas, I'm not sure that we should be doing this. It doesn't feel right. I mean, they've been friendly and we've helped them and they've helped us and... This just isn't right. Zoramgar Outpost. Saifang shall establish our troops here now that Astronar is ours. I shall continue my hunt for the only creature that can stop our march to victory, Malfurion Stormrage. Our next order of business will be to establish a foothold at the base of Darkshaw. Commander Grimfang of the Zoramgar Outpost should be able to accommodate an incoming army. Inform him of our arrival and ensure the necessary preparations are made. Make the necessary preparations at the Zoramgar outpost. Oh, it's burning, look. So how does everyone else feel about this Sylvanas going bad and the horde attacking? Because I, I really don't like it, I especially after the fact that we've all been working together and, of course, the fact that Sylvanas is one of my absolute favourite characters and I really love her and I want her to be a really good war chief and be a really good person. How do you all feel about this? Is this the sort of way you want the story to go? If you're a Horde or an Alliance player, are you happy with the way the story's going? And here we are at Zorongar. Let us see what they wish us to do here. Speak with Commander Grimfang. Commander, the War Chief asks that you prepare your outpost for an incoming oh, army. Zorongar will stand ready for the horde. War Chief Sylvanas Windrunner requires your aid repairing her soldier's Down. weapon. My forge is always ready.
in Kipaduras. The war chief needs rations and lodging for an incoming army. We are a small outpost, but I will gather what we have. The war chief and her army will want for nothing. I swear it. Loktar. Oh, God. Return to High Overlord Sarfang. That's not too far to Astronaut, so I think we'll keep recording. So it definitely feels like a march, slow, steady progress. Little bits here, a little bit there. Utilising all the sneak troops of like, the rogues to take people out without warning. But... Um, the Horde's always been really honourable and upfront about things, so sneaking in just doesn't feel like what the Horde should be doing. And as I say, Sylvanas one of my favourite characters. I don't want her to be a sneaky, evil person. It makes me very sad, and I, I don't want a sad kitty, do we? A force this large has not moved in Ashenvale in a long time. I hope Zorumgar is ready to accommodate the might of the Horde. Well, they are a little pace, but they'll do the best that they can with what they've got. On the prowl, do you see all of the wisps about? I've seen this once before, when the demon Archimond was felled by the sting of hundreds, no, thousands of wisps. This can only mean one thing. Malfurion is beckoning the aid of his ancestors. The war chief has already taken a scouting party ahead to Darkshore to intercept him. Please, Selket, find the war chief and see if she has yet caught her prey. We have secured all of Ashenvale, but we must keep the pressure on. Find War Chief Sylvanas Wanderer we in Darkshore. Are the true. It looks like she's right at the border of Darkshore and Ash Ashenvale. It's nice to reuse the old world to get us back out into it. And it is World of Warcraft, so without a war, where is the war in Warcraft? And we've just dealt with the big Legion threat, so it, it does kind of feel like... Um, but it does kind of feel to me like we're, they're forced, we're, the war's being forced when everybody's fairly peaceful. I think my main objection is that I don't want Sylv Sylvanas to be evil. Having war in World of Warcraft is obviously the, the right thing to do because it, you can't really have a game called World of Warcraft without war, but yeah, I just don't want Sylvanas to be a bad guy. Alright, we are... oh, yep, we are here. You will come no further, Banshee Queen. Soldiers, no! Do not rush that! That didn't go well, did it, Sylvanas? At least now we know how dangerous the wisps can what be. What are we if not slaves to this torment? I've been tracking Malfurion's every movement. The Lord of the Forest cannot hope to outmatch one who served as Ranger General of the Silver Moon. Careful, Selket. The forest is still brimming with Storm Rage's forces. Look out behind you. Defeat the Alliance ambush. Behind me. Oh, they're not to the behind, they're to the side. Fighting with Sylvanas. Ooh, now I like that. Fighting with my Sylvanas, yes! Told you I like Sylvanas. I'm a Sylvanas fangirl. I really, really am. Love Sylvanas. Want Sylvanas to be the bestest war chief ever. Not evil. Yay, fighting with Sylvanas. Oh, I love it. They left. Look at my what queen. Joy is there in this curse? Malfurion will soon return with an army. 
ripe for the picking. The Calder I have finally halted our progress. In a perfect world, we could have mat marched all the way to Oberdeen and taken Teldrassel before they could even slow us down, but it matters little. Malfurion will try to hold us back until his fleet returns from Silithus. Until then his army is too small, if only we could find a path through these wisps. I have an idea. Let's have a chat with Saufang. Meet with Saufang and Sylvanus in the Zorumgar outpost. There will be nowhere to run when next we meet, Malfurion. To Zorumgar! That's a nice model for the horse that Sylvanas was riding. I don't recognise that one. Anybody else recognise that? Or is that a unique model for her? Or is that coming in BFA? I don't know. Let's go back and see what... Uh, See if Sao Fang has any suggestions about the wisps. He was definitely worried about the wisps, and if he's that worried about the wisps, I would have thought if he'd have known anything, wouldn't he have said so at the time? Speak quickly, and speak the truth. The Calderai have begun to reinforce Darkshaw. Our path to Teldrassil will be more difficult than we had anticipated. Ah. And that doesn't what seem to be... Are we if not slaves to this ah, here we go. She just didn't have a marker over her head. A quick flyover. Malfurion knows that his wisp wall is a temporary measure. He is buying time for reinforcements to arrive in Teldrassel. It is imperative that we find a way through that wall, and quickly. I want you to take our explosive reserves and apply pressure. You will not be able to bring it down, but you may be able to find us an opening. I will have a squadron ready to strike once you break ground. Zarvik Blastwicks should have a few bombardiers for the job. Use explosives to fend off the Alliance army in Darkshore. A wall of wisps? Surely it is nothing our Dark Rangers and a few demolishers cannot overcome, my lady. The scouting party I led to Malfurion underestimated the wisps. And they paid the price for doing so. We cannot destroy the wisps. Not in numbers enough to matter, but we may be able to disperse them. Interesting. The wisps respond to Malfurion's call, but what if more of the forest were to cry out for help? Precisely what I was thinking. Champion, would you be so kind as to test our theory? The war chief wants to scare off the wisps, eh? I have just the thing. You want to fly this thing, or do you want to drop the bombs? Let's fly. You want explosions, buddy? You got it. Hop into one of these beauties and take it for a spin. <sighs> Goblin tech at its finest. I just hope it doesn't blow us up. No. Do you trust Goblin Tech? I certainly don't. Whoa! Trees! Ah, we have control of the flying and of the bombing. Oh, they want us to try and destroy the wisps as well. that turn. Woo! Okay. It feels a little less responsive. Woo! 
that's coordinating more things than I've got fingers for. <laughs> because you've got to fly and aim at the same time and it's it's Oh, that's different. That's very different. That feels very different. Oh, that's an interesting quest, isn't it? Look at the um shield that they've got for us. Out. There we go. Oh, that's interesting. That was a neat little quest. Because you've got because you, you're flying and aiming at the same time. That was a little bit weird to try and aim it. If you see what I mean. Because we're used to flying or we're used to aiming, but we're not used to flying and aiming at the same time. So that's that's new. That's different. the goblins didn't blow us up everything worked perfectly oh I'm very impressed goblins well done round of applause well done eee. well I think we scared them off I'm temporarily at least an unstoppable force. Now is the time to strike, Selket. Passing through the wall will not be easy, but I think it's something you can handle. Do what you must to prevail, and meet me on the other side. I will lead a squad of sturdy soldiers and as many demolishers as you can survive the as and as many demolishers as can survive the passing. We may not make it to Darnassus today, but the outcome of this war does not rest on one victory alone. It will come as the result of a thousand small victories. So let's get started, shall we? Disrupt the Alliance forces in Darkshore. It seems the Wisps are susceptible to distraction. We will exploit this weakness to get past them. Sarfang, take a squad into Felwood. Seek a path over the mountain into Darkshore. But leave the siege weapons under my command. We will squeeze Malfurion from both sides. War Chief, there is no safe passage through Felwood. Find one or make one. Time is a luxury we do not possess. Hmm. No many smugglers, light collar. I beg your pardon. I am not naive. There is little chance that Everlook receives all its cargo through legitimate means. Someone is using a hidden route through Felwood. Most smugglers would prefer to avoid the attention of the High Overlord. But I believe we can locate one who can be persuaded to assist us. That's good news. Then it is decided. Sarfang, Nathanos, you will leave at once. So Sarfang and Nathanos are taking the troops to try and find a secret smuggling route through the zone and we are to go with Sylvanas. Is she really running off on her own? Ooh. She's going to have demolishers and things, isn't she? Try and take with her. Can't imagine she's really gone off on her own. We pass through the wall on my command. Yes, War Chief. Brace yourselves. Pass through the wall quickly. I cannot hold it much longer. No, so she can force it open temporarily. Once a breach has been made, the pain is bearable. Just give me a moment. See, she's a tough woman. Do not 
relent, hero. These savage elves would do you no such favor. We are the Forsaken. We Malfurion will return with his forces, but until then, let's press on. Clearing them out. They have amassed an army behind us, Selket, but it is no matter. The Horde war machine will not be stopped. Go into the Master's glaive and dispatch their warriors, their sentinels, any who would raise a blade against my soldiers. Clear out the petty rabble that seeks to delay the inevitable. Slay night of forces in the Master's glaive. A glaive misunderstanding. Oh. The Calderai have brought their siege weaponry to the field. They are currently using it to oppose mine. We need these demolishers to reach Taldrassil if we hope to stand any chance of capturing it. Go and destroy their glaive throwers as swiftly as you are able. They think they will stop my advance here. They are mistaken. Show them the gravity of their error, Selkat. Destroy glaive throwers in the master's glaive. Here we go. Right, so I need to burn the glaive throwers. And deal with the enemy. So let's take a few out and see. See, now we're fighting to save our people, but it is all sort of attacked, so. I was hoping for better motivation for the uh, horde attack than just fear of future problems. I would have liked more motivation or a, a better outlined motivation with much more meaning behind it. Just the future possible threat is just a little bit too arbitrary for my uh, taste. I like a little bit of lore that actually backs up what we're doing. Don't get me wrong, it makes me a little bit sad that there isn't more reason behind it. And it makes me particularly sad because Sylvanas is my favourite character and I don't want her to be bad. But it's not going to stop me playing World of Warcraft. I've loved this game for so long. There's no way I'm going to stop playing it. Well, actually, there are a couple of things that would stop me playing it. The inability to afford to pay for internet and a new computer could be a factor indeed. But for any other reason, I would just keep. I'm going to keep playing this game for as long as it lasts. For as long as it goes. And I shall also play the classic servers when they bring them out as well. And I think that that finishes these quests for us. We've dealt with that little problem, Sylvanas. Are, are you feeling better now? We are one step closer to our goals. This was an easy victory. Do not expect it to be this simple in the future. Malfurion will return with his forces, but until then, let's press on. Blurred vision. Look up. See them scattered among the trees? Those brightly glowing owls are not living, breathing denizens of the forest. They are Calderai magic. Sentinels. A ruse. Reporting everything they see back to Malfurion. We can't have that now, can we? Deal with them. But take care, they aren't the only enemies in the forest. We cannot allow anything or anyone to stand in our way. Eliminate the sentry owls in the trees and slay the frenzied furbolg of Darkshore. So eight owls and ten furbolgs. I don't see any owls at the moment. I see a few dead bodies. I think everybody's just killed them. Well, there's definitely fur bogs. Oh, no, are they? Yeah, they're fur bogs. 
They're just not called fur bogs, but they are fur bogs. Oh, that didn't count. Okay, so the deadwood don't count because they're not actually named as fur bogs. Okay, so we want to head in this direction. I'm trying to look up so we can look for owls, but I'm not seeing any yet. It's just lots of dead bodies. Look, oh, there's one behind this tree. Yes, they definitely look like spirit beasts, don't they? Sort of that glowy, vaguely transparent look that you usually get with the spirit beasts. Rather pretty birds. Has any hunter tried to tame them? people were attacking them. Oh, there's another one. So we are now at three of eight and four of ten. So we're making good progress here. And there's another owl, but it's a little bit too far away, so we need to move up. And then there's another fur bulb right there, so we're getting we're about halfway, I think, now. to the edge of the area. Let's head back a little bit. There's another out. Oh, we didn't loot these. With all the other people attacking them, I was a little bit concerned that we were going to be having to wait for lots of respawns again. Of course, when the pre-patch launches on Tuesday in America and Wednesday in Europe, there's going to be lots and lots of people all fighting over the same few mobs. So do remember to try and relax and stay calm when you're fighting hundreds of other people for the mobs. How are we doing? We want one more fur bog and damn near we need four, four more owls, four more owls. So we're going to be finished with the fur bogs here. And we need four more owls. So we're probably going to have to fight a few more fur bogs while we wait for the owls to spawn. Oh, there's another one. That means we will need two more. They're rather pretty, aren't they, those owls? Is that the same model that they're using for the owls as for the spirit beast owls that the hunters can get. My hunter never managed to find the owl to tame it. I suspect it might be the same model. Okay, let's fly around and look for the owls. I need more owl. Oh, there's one. Mounted. Yes, of course I'm mounted. I was flying around to try and find you. Do not have a target. Oh no, obviously the kitty is chasing the owls. Ah, <laughs> the kitty is chasing the owls. The cat is chasing the birds. Ah. <laughs> the cat is chasing the birds. 
Right, Sylvanas has moved up a little bit further. We are the Forsaken. Nicely we done. Slaughter anyone who the trees have ears. With the, with the eyes of the forest shut, one thing remains. The ears. Ancients. They feel the vibrations of our footsteps and report our every move to Malfurion. Got that torch handy? Defeat the burning ancient. set him on fire. Oh, poor little tree beard. Well, big tree beard. He is big. Hey, are you trying to set fire to me? He is. He tried to set fire to me. Come champion, let us take this ancient grove. Sylvanus, your foul deeds desecrate this sacred place. Undo Falador. Malfurion, how gracious of you to join us. Who would have guessed that you would come to protect your precious trees? Be gone, witch. No. My eyes! It burns! Where did you fly away to, little bird? She's definitely but not she happy with Malfurion, is she? The Blackwood Den. We have not moved all of our troops into Darkshore yet, but I think we have enough to justify establishing a foothold somewhere. I know just the place. Just south of here is the Blackwood Den. Its inhabitants, the Furbogs, have been driven into a hysteria. With our enemies pouring from the north, the Furbog threat is a nuisance we cannot afford. I will lead another squad past the wall while you negotiate with the Furbogs. Drive the Furbogs out of the Blackwood Den. Aggressive inspiration. Nothing rallies the Horde more than their banner standing in the ruin of an enemy stronghold. Go to Blackwood Den, take the territory there, raise the Horde banners and let none question our dominance over this land. Plant three Horde banners in Blackwood Den. I go. I have banner. See, I came here to fight a little bit earlier than we needed to. I tried to fight these guys a little bit too early. But I was writing that we would need to come here at some point. There's one of the banner sites. There's he gone. It's around the corner. That's three of ten. And here will be our first banner. Now we need five more of the fur bulbs and one final banner before we can take the place as our temporary base for the hood. And I'm guessing that this will then become a base for the hood for the duration of the pre patch, and there will be quests possibly dailies 
in this area around here while the poo patches out. This will have the pre patch for what, about four weeks maybe? Before Battle for Azeroth proper launches. I can't believe we're already at the pre patch. In the next couple of days the pre patch launches. Whoa. That time snuck upon me much faster than I expected. Let's turn in and see if we're right about this becoming the base and us having dailies. What are we if not slaves to this torment? Just you wait. Once we have conquered Darnassus, the elders of the Blackwood tribe will be thanking us for restoring peace to the den. We just need to borrow it for a moment. This is not time for subtle gestures. The start of something good. While the rest of our army sets up camp, you should follow me. I spotted something interesting on my way back from Zoramgar. I'll admit not even I could have predicted such fortuitous happenstance. Come with me, Sel 